Uh, all right, cheers, folks. This is Instant Screaming for quick streaming horror reviews so you can figure out what you want to watch and get on with your day. Today's loose connected theme is Possession, and I have The Veil and Legion, The Final Exorcism. Now, first up, let's get the bad news out of the way. Legion, The Final Exorcism is terrible. It's like a music video trying to cut together a bunch of stuff that looks kind of cool, even though it doesn't make any sense. Except this movie doesn't really have the budget to uh, make those really, really excellent visuals. If you check out the trailer and you see how it's cut with all sorts of quick little flashes and colors and crazy little mirroring effects and reverse shots and all of those really flare-like things, and you think, oh, well, that's the trailer. No. No, that's not the trailer. That's actually just a scene from the movie. And that's how they that's how they put it in there. And and I don't think this is really a case of knocking the movie down because it just didn't have the budget to, to do what it was trying to do. You can do that and still be a pretty fun movie to watch, even if you overreach a little bit. It's just this has fundamental story issues and fundamental acting issues that just made no sense. It's basically a lot of weird non sequiturs connecting set pieces that are sort of ripped off from Exorcism of Only Rose. The writing and the characters all suffer because it basically feels like one of those vanity project movies where you've got, you know, writer, director, star, all the same person. So you've got this main character that's troubled and brooding and held down by authority even though he's right and he's always right and he just needs to do the right thing and trust himself and Everybody will come and circle around him and support him because he's doing the right thing and this is the battle that he needs to win. Because that type of character might be fun to put yourself into and play, but it is not an entertaining type of character to watch. And I don't want to spend too much time talking about a movie that I obviously didn't like, and uh, Legion the Final Exorcism is probably not worth your time and effort. But if you are morbidly curious, it is on Amazon Prime Instant Streaming, and, uh, you know, it's a possession movie. It checks all the right boxes. It just isn't any fun to watch. But on the other side, we have a cult slash possession movie that is available on Netflix and is actually fairly entertaining to watch. It is called The Veil. Uh, the Veil obviously has a larger budget than Legion, and this is mostly presented in the fact that they were able to afford a couple of really well-known names. Uh, Jessica Alba is in this movie, and Thomas Jane is in this movie. So the basic plot of The Veil here is that Jessica Alba's documentary filmmaker is doing a documentary on a suicide cult that was shut down a couple of decades earlier, and there was one known survivor who happened to be a little girl at the time, um, and she is now coming with the documentary crew back to the site of the uh, the mass suicide to talk about the, the cult that her mother was in that she was sort of a part of. So the framing story is this cult possession story where uh, the documentary crew kind of goes off, it gets knocked off one by one until the big twist right before the end. But the most interesting part of the movie is that while they're at the compound and while they're talking to the, the survivor, uh, they find films that the cult leader had made to come back from the other side and, and gain mystical powers, good culty stuff, which is obviously why they all committed suicide. And Thomas Jane plays the cult leader, who you really only see in these flashbacks, and he's awesome. <laughs> he has everything that you want in your craziest suicide cult leader. He's authoritative, charismatic, obviously insane for anybody watching on the outside. He is a complete blast to, to see in this role. And frankly, I would recommend watching the movie just to see him because he entertained me that much. But if you want to talk about the technical aspects of it, everybody turns in a fairly good performance acting wise. The scare scenes are all fairly well done and fairly entertaining. Uh, nothing super stands out or sticks in memory as being very, very terrifying. Uh, there's no amazing set piece. I almost feel like The Veil would have done better if it had repackaged itself as a short film focusing entirely on the cult because all the flashback and all the documentary footage was way more entertaining than anything that the contemporary documentary cast was doing. Even though they needed to be there for the twist ending and the final reveal, I just feel like it would have been more fun otherwise. So there you go, for instance, Screaming got a good movie and a bad movie, but hopefully this helps you figure out what you want to watch tonight so you can queue it up and get on with your day. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the movies that I talked about in this episode, please leave them below. If you have any other comments or movies that you feel uh, might be interesting to see on this show, leave that below also. If you like the video, like the video. If you like the show, please subscribe for more. Or uh, if you want to support it, 
check out the Patreon site here. Anyway, cheers, folks, and stay tuned for more Instant Screen.